Hello everyone, welcome to our Plant Room series and I'm absolutely delighted to welcome one of our clients for many, many years, Karen Gerard, um, founder of Seams Beauty, to be talking to us today. Karen, thank you so much for your time. And please tell everyone a little bit about your business and how you founded it and your values and your philosophy. Okay, hi, lovely to be here chatting to you as well. Um, well, I started, it seems I was at the London College of Fashion. I was doing um, a course and my hands got cut, burnt, sore and dry. And I couldn't find a hand cream that healed, moisturized and that wasn't greasy. You know, I was going to bed at night with antiseptic on. My hands were, were just shot to hell so um I, that's when I thought of seams I called it seams because I was um, sewing at the time and I'd had experience in the beauty industry because I've I'd had 40 years experience in fashion and beauty so we created seams hand cream which is not greasy it heals it moisturizes um, it's the best of product it's got nine natural ingredients we created um, a biomimic lipid complex, which is um, a group of natural oils that bring the hand cream in under your skin. And they work with the lipids of your skin um, and they, it's like an extra layer, layer underneath. So we created the hand cream um, and it launched backstage at London Fashion Week. It was instantly picked up, all the makeup artists back there were going crazy. They took it back to the film studios. And um, so we, we look after Netflix, uh, CBS, ITV, the cast and crew. And then, then obviously we, we're selling it as well. So um, I'm on some of the shopping channels on Create and Craft. We've got our own website. And, and that, that was how it started. And when so, did you found um, the business, Karen? That was in 2013. 2013. And that's possibly when we started working together on um, or, or thereabouts, developing a range for you of packaging and product. Um, and it's been so wonderful to see your business grow. Um, and I remember us working together with a couple of colleagues in the team, you know, choosing samples, choosing fabrics, choosing, choosing materials. You really are very keen to get into the nitty gritty. So can you tell our audience a little bit about um, how you wanted to design the product with us and what your brief was? Okay, well, in the beginning, right um, back then, I, um, I didn't want to use, I, I wanted to use something to hold the product that was reusable. And um, that was when I came to you and we did the drawstring bags, um, which I'm still doing today, which is seven, eight years later. Um, we're still making those bags. My ethos has always been, I want to use as much, well, our packaging is totally recyclable, but I want to use as much reusable, practical uh, as we can. So when I come to you, which is fantastic, because I have an idea and you guys make, make it happen. So um, it's lovely that I, I wanted the latest, the, um, for the scissors, um, a pouch, that kept scissors in, um, so we didn't have to box them when we sent out, but not only that, it's something useful. We sell to a lot of sewers, knitters, um, even people just around the house or need this pouch. So working with you, um, you're, you, I'm so particular and so are you. Everything has to be perfect. So, um, and in fact, it doesn't take long actually. Um, when you do a drawing and you make the sample, it usually only needs a few tw uh, little tweaks to get it right. And so you've got some of the products that we've made for you in your beautiful display behind you. And I think I've, I've been given yeah. one by the team as well. Uh, so this everyone is Karen's lovely, lovely uh, uh, logo and print and, and signature. So I'm, I'm gonna open it up and I don't know if you've got the same thing, but these are the drawstring bags I presume that we do for you. Uh, yeah. Um, and then also these little pouches. Are these your zip pouches? Yes, they, they were done um, for last Christmas, the zip pouch, which um, which they, they were gift packs for Christmas, but people are, customers are, are buying our packs for those because they love, they love the bags as well. And then I also have these, it, this is, I think, so cute and so clever. So, so clever. That's the scissors, yeah. This is the scissors pouch, isn't it? And it's got your yellow That's accent. The... Yeah, you, you colour match those perfectly. And these are the scissors being held by this amazing cord. I mean, I just think this is such a clever design um, that, 
that you uh, gave instructions for and for our team to collaborate with. So when you, you know, can you tell, uh, tell the audience a little bit about how you come up with a product? Is it the problem that you want to solve first? And then you think, okay, well, how can we solve it through, through materials and products sewn together? Yes. Basically. <laughs> it's, a, it's a short <laughs> answer. Uh, but yeah, it's the same with our um, beauty products. Um, you know, we, the, the main uh, problem with hands is cuticles. So we bought the hand, the cuticle oil. Then the main problem with um, using sanitizers is that they were sticky and they just, the smell of the alcohol was so strong. So we brought out a moisturizing sanitizer and um, and it's got our scent. So that also, it solves a problem. And it's the same with uh, when we're making the gift items as well. They, they have to solve a problem. The zip bag, uh, we wanted something that was that was reusable, but could be used for lots of different things that it holds our hand cream, but you can just use it around the house as well. Um, that a man or woman would use. Um, and you've lined, we've lined it in nylon as well. So it's, yeah. it's got that extra layer. So it could be wipeable. Yeah. And so um, it, in terms of when you first came to us, I mean, you obviously have a lot of suppliers that you can turn to. What were the what were the key points that meant that you chose to work with us not only once but repeatedly? Um, it's every it's the whole package that you order. Your service is is fantastic, actually. You know, you I've been working with Natalia, and and she'll reply within a few hours. Um, it's always same day. Um, there'll be, you know, I started working with her in a bag yesterday and I've already had an image of a prototype sent from your factory um, so, so the service is I know service I know the products are going to be good you, they're delivered on time um, you quote delivered to, to my house so it's, it's not the shipping and the, the, the goods separately so that's really just takes a lot of hassle out um, and your product is is such good quality as well and your prices aren't uh, are compatible Ah, yeah. there's also, I love that you're women, that you've, uh, that you're, is it 90% women in your factories? 90% women in the factory. And we're so proud of them, which is why, you know, you as a, as a female founded business um, and working within an industry, which is very uh, sort of female dominated and, and women dominated, it's, it's wonderful um, to champion businesses like you, as well as you recognizing the women along the supply chain um, who make the products for you. Um, so it's gl I'm glad that that's part of your decision making process. Yes. And in and you've you've um, hinted towards it, but I'd love to know a little bit more about how important sustainability is um, for seams um, and for your philosophy and how you communicate to your to your audience and your clients. Um, well, it's it's obviously it's one of our top priorities. Um, the beauty industry, the packaging, it's taking a little while um, to find components that can be refilled, that can be sustainable. Yeah. All, our, all our products are recyclable and there's a yeah. lot of innovation coming along. Um, but I think even if everybody just does their little bit, even if it's using a bag that we've made with you, um, instead of them using, using something that's throwaway, um, and we working with a lot of natural, uh, we're working with the cotton that I know you get that from farmers in India, eth ethically yes. thought, isn't it? Yes, yes, exactly. Yes, yes, I, exactly. And I think, I think it is what, what you've said is very pertinent, you know, small daily habit changes can make a vast amount of difference. If everyone adopted those small changes, let's not throw away the single use plastic or let's avoid um, making that choice around uh, uh, something which is more disposable. Let's let's have something compostable. Let's have something which uh, uh, can be reused at least five hundred times. I mean, these 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 will stand the test of time, won't they? They 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 can be yes. used every single day of the year for for years. So I think it's wonderful to kind of share similar philosophies. Um, and a, a final uh, note, Karen is. Um, if you had any tips to share with um, anyone who's choosing to want to work with us or considering wanting to work with us, what tips would you share as a small business owner, as a, as a growing business? 
as in in what what um any tips that you would share anyone who's running a, a, a small business who's thinking of working with us? You know, I think uh, because of some of the big brands that we work with, we want to make sure that everyone feels quite welcome. And you've obviously grown your business uh, enormously, but it started small. So uh, are there any tips that you'd advise to other small business owners? Yeah, well, um, in respect of um, if, if you're a small business starting up, um, get all your legal um, aspects in place. Because, um, you know, I know lawyers and um, accountants, they're expensive in the beginning, but they, they can save you a lot of money um, in, in the future. Um, also, you've got to um, be prepared to give up your social life. Um, and, and you're just working, in, you're just, just, you've got to be prepared just to give your all into that business. You've got to believe in your product. You've got to do the best you can. You've got to do research. Um, and that was how I found you really, because everything I do, I, I look at the whole picture. I research what's around. Um, and then, and then you can, you can choose the best. Uh, it, my, my, my philosophy is um, if you're going to do something, be the best you possibly can at it. Absolutely. And learn. And, yeah. and learn. And you've always been incredibly creative, collaborative um, and innovative um, with the products that we make. And we're so proud of working with you and, and seeing how your business grows. Thank you. Um, so thank you so much for your business. And thank you so much for telling your story uh, to everyone. Um, and we wish you all the best of luck in the growth of Seams. Thank you. And, and to you too. And it's really an pl absolute pleasure working with you and talking with you. Perfect.